even back out no the Wash real hair friends? oh can you and your oh. friend back out your hair no oh are oh. you from new york even Hi everybody, welcome or welcome back to my channel. I'm Nia G. Today's video, I'm going to be showing you guys how I get this super easy, blown out, silk press look on my hair at home using my Revlon One Step Hair Styler. It is a blow drying hair brush. As you can see, it is completely in a circle with the brushes around it. I purchased mine from Target for $38. It originally retails for about $60, $70, but it's been on sale for quite a minute now. Um, so I purchased it for $38. It's still available. I will be linking it on Target and Amazon, and those links will be affiliate links. If you feel like supporting this channel, you should definitely check out my affiliate links, which will be listed down below. I absolutely love this blow dryer it makes doing my hair at home super easy and super fast no lie this took me less than an hour to completely do my hair blow it out blow it out straighten it press it everything um i did go get my hair cut at the beginning of december um into this very sleek into this very sleek long cut which i absolutely love i typically had been going to the salon but i wanted to get better at doing my at home beauty treatments and sharing them all with you guys because i used to be so into my at home maintenance literally like clockwork so i'm so happy that i was able to get my hands on this and it is an, it's an amazing price i know everyone's talking about the dyson air wrap but that's not in everyone's price range it's literally 500 dollars. but this is amazing revlon makes the best beauty products especially for hair and this was so easy to do i didn't even know that you all cared about my hair but in my recent videos everyone's been commenting on my haircut so i just thought i'd share that with you guys i very much appreciate the comments i have always loved my hair and i am working on rolling back so i'm going to show you guys how i do my hair and that's all for now thank you guys so much for watching and make sure to subscribe if you have not already and give this video a thumbs up so of course I'm starting with clean hair and I'm using the Proclaim Glossing Polish for color and heat protection to protect my curls. Yes, I am natural and this heat protectant is everything and a little bit goes a long way and I rub it through my hair completely basically until the serum is completely out of my hands. I want it all over my hair, every single part of my hair. And this is after I wash my hair with the Nexus Clean and Pure Protein Fusion Shampoo and Conditioner, as well as the Olaplex Number no. 8 Bond Intense Moisture Mask. And I'm using the Tresemme Heat Protectant. I've been using this for years. It protects your hair up to 450 degrees of heat which is absolutely perfect and I spray that all over my hair and by each section before I blow dry it I do use a little spritz and I rub it down through the strands just for some extra protection and I don't OD because I don't want the product to build up in my hair and feel nasty and sticky which is what I love about all these products they don't make my hair sticky and greasy and oily now I'm finally going in with my Revlon One Step. It has three different settings, cool, low, and high, and I'm doing this on high. It's called the One Step because it is the blow dryer bl brush and a blow dryer all in one. So you know when you get your hair done, you usually do the blow dryer and a brush. And when you're doing your hair by yourself, that is not easy to do at all. But I'm just passing it through. I'm home in the roots you guys really can see me doing the roots right here but you will see it later so stay tuned and i'm just brushing through my hair and you can see once i'm done with this first strand you can see how straight my hair already got not gonna lie my hair does straighten pretty easily but it doesn't always stay straight which is a problem that i have because my hair is so curly and it is so sensitive to humidity and everything the straighter you get your hair while blow drying the better which is why I love this. I always blow dry my hair on high. And if I want to do a little touch up later after having my hair blown out for a couple of weeks, I'll just do it on cool or on the medium temperature. But it's so easy to use. Like, look at this. I'm literally using it as a brush, as if I'm brushing my hair and it's getting my hair 
super, super straight. The key to a sleek silk press blowout, anything, is blow it out as straight as possible so that when it comes into flat ironing, you don't have to do as much work, you don't have to use as much heat. So not only are you not damaging your hair by blowing it out as best as possible and you won't need to touch it up as much, but also your hair will look even better even sleeker look at how straight this is it looks like i went through it with a freaking flat iron and i did not even get there yet so yes i absolutely do spritz every single section with heat protectant before passing it through with the blow dryer that is because i absolutely adore my curls when i straighten my hair it's usually like out of laziness honestly because i can leave my hair straight and i won't have to manipulate it as much as i will once i have it curly so i just always want to protect my curls so when i am ready to rock my natural curls they look as good as possible so the heat protection is an absolute must and like i already said the straighter you get it now the less you will have to touch it up later as time goes on this part of the silk press blowout process is the most crucial part because this will set the tone for the rest of your style Alright, this is my hair after being blown out only with the one step. My hair looks so straight. Sometimes this is how my hair looks after being blow dried and straightened with a regular blow dryer. Oh my gosh, look at the back of my hair. Why does it look like that? I have no idea, but my hair is super straight. Um, Honestly, I could have just left it like this, but I did want it bone straight. And I love the cute little curlies at the end. I think it's such a look such a early 2000s mjb type look and you can see that my roots are all blown out and my hair is super bouncy this clip is no lie five minutes and 30 seconds straining my hair is so fast with this remington flat iron i love the big place this is what i do use for my original passing of the hair and if i ever need to touch up i'll use something with smaller plates but this remington flat iron is literally everything i got it from target about five years ago for maybe 
25 30 dollars and i see them around every once in a while but the heat settings start at the lowest is like zero and the highest goes up to 30. i usually keep it at a calm 10 because as you guys can see it goes super hot and it makes my hair super straight really really fast and i just do like small ish sections my hair is really thin and fine so honestly it doesn't take much to straighten it out but since my hair is so straight from blowing it out it's really easy like i said five minutes 30 seconds to do my entire head of hair and i just brush it through and then i take the flat iron and press it on out and look how it falls so nice and sleek and i just love how my ends look nice and straight So with the flat iron part, I try to just press my hair down straight, no bump, no bump to the ends at all, just because I feel like my hair looks way neater. And that is the look that I originally had when my hair was cut. It was super blunt, super straight, and I love that look on me. And I typically decided to flat iron my hair into a middle part because I feel like I have more free range when it comes to styling if I just start with the middle part. Part, so I can easily switch to a side part but you guys can see the effect of the original blunt cut she just cut it across evenly because I wanted something different and this is how I maintain my hair pretty much um also go through and I clip a couple ends but I'm not going to show you guys that because I'm no hairstylist and I don't want to give anybody any ideas but that is how I'm going to be maintaining this style until it's time for me to get another trim but look at how sleek my hair is look at the roots and all that it is bone straight that is the word I've been looking for bone straight okay look at this flawless cut and the shine to this now hair. i'm taking my fruit teeth marvelous oil it's a hair elixir it has avocado olive and almond oils and it's for dry to very dry hair and honestly i do have typically dry hair but my hair does get pretty oily when straight but this is a very light oil you can substitute it for your preferred light oil and i just rub it in my hands like i did with the heat protecting serum and i rub it through my hair all parts of it until there is no more oil in my hands and since it is so cold in the winter and that really does dry out your hair i do this to my hair about every other day um sometimes every day if i am going outside a lot and then i just brush it through so that i make sure that i didn't miss any parts of my hair and now i'm brushing my hair in this circle so i can wrap it up in my doobie wrap you can get this at the beauty supply store or the 99 cent store if you're in new york honestly always wrap my hair like this when i do have it straight and i put my bonnet on top and i still sleep on my satin pillowcase just in case my bonnet shall deceive me and come off in the nighttime. As you can see, my hair stayed nice and sleek through the night, and I'm just brushing it out to style it. I love how when I wrap my hair, it doesn't mess up my part or anything. So it's all wrapped going in one direction. I have free range with my part. I don't feel that it sticks in any one direction. As you guys can see, I'm doing a middle part at first, and then I end up doing a side part because I was just feeling the side part for the day. You know what I mean? My hair is absolutely fabulous, super sleek and soft and shiny and straight. And look at my baby hairs. I didn't even style them or anything so i want to thank that one step for that but you can see my roots are still intact i have that one piece of hair embarrassing me in the back as always because you know there always has to be a hater but look at how flowy and bouncy my hair is i am in love yes, this is the final result a day later my ends look great my hair is neat down to the scalp i haven't had to use 
I need edge control because the way that my hair was blown out so seamlessly. That is the trick. The more you blow out your hair with the blow dryer, the less manipulation you will have to do to make it look good. But that's all. If you guys are interested in the Dyson Airwrap or if you already have the Dyson Airwrap and you're starting to regret it, you have the Revlon, let me know down below in the comments because I want to know what's real tea on this Dyson Airwrap before I, you know, I mean, I'm never going to get it, honestly, because I love this. But that's all for now. Thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you guys next time.